going to partake in the Eric Brun competition um, last year. And for that, you need a choreographic piece made for you. So for the contemporary part, Roman Novinsky created for Gabriel and I a dialogue. Unfortunately, Gabriel wasn't able to perform. So this will be his debut, so we're really excited. Uh, yes, she has danced it, but this is going to be my first time. And I'm, yeah, I'm very, I'm looking forward to it. <laughs> to have my premiere in Japan also will be special. <laughs> so it's really just a dialogue between two people. When you're having a conversation, you go through a lot of different emotions. Anger, sadness, happy, annoyed. All of those kinds of things that we experience as a human, it's kind of a piece showing that. Yes, I enjoy it a lot. I started more with the contemporary jazz, those kinds of um, styles of dance as opposed to ballet. So for me, contemporary is, comes more naturally. And so I enjoy it a lot. Yeah, I mean, I was still doing both. So I did all the jazz and tap and contemporary, and then I had ballet classes more serious alongside of that. And then it wasn't until I did YGP, the competition, and I was offered a place at Princess Grace Academy. And that's when I was like, okay, I can be more serious about that. And that's when I started to really enjoy and love ballet. At some point I started with hip hop actually, and then I went to jazz, and then I started ballet. But I didn't like ballet. <laughs> I wanted to quit and start doing swimming lessons. <laughs> but then my teacher in Brazil was like, no, you should really, you know, try again. <laughs> so I kept going, and then I got a scholarship to go to Sao Paulo. And then I went with my mom to Sao Paulo for three years. And after that, I went to Germany with 13 years old. Um, I honestly, I didn't really know where I wanted to go. I, I never intended that I would become a professional ballerina, like from a young age, as some people have. And so my knowledge of the ballet world, or like I never had a dream of oh, going to this company. Of course you have like your colleagues and you talk about, oh, it would be amazing to go to Royal Ballet or Paris Opera, these leading ballet companies around the world. But I really didn't know what I wanted but I knew I wanted to go to a place where I would be appreciated and also I would feel at home and really enjoy and just be able to dance because that's what I love to do. Mm -hmm. And so I was able to go and audition and take class at Stuttgart and I immediately fell in love with the company. The class was so fun. I remember I was nervous, obviously, but I had so much fun, the energy, the just the atmosphere of the people, it was very homey and it, it felt like home to me and I was, that's when I knew I wanted to go there. I mean, I've been watching the company all, all through when I first joined the Jen Krenko School and we've always went to watch the company performances and I just fell in love with Krenko's work and I knew it just, that's what I had to do and <laughs> especially being where he created everything. So it was just, yeah, it's special and that, that's what I wanted. So <laughs> then I joined the company. Uh, I would say now would be Romeo. Yes, and obviously on Yegin, but I think I need to be more mature and experienced too, yes. 
Mm. My dream role was to dance Juliet and I was able to do that. So that was really so special. I will never forget that show. It was such a dream. Um, and then I think very Kranko of me or Stuttgart of me would be to dance Tatiana one day. Such a beautiful role. Yeah. Yeah, I'm very excited to dance Lenski for the first time in Japan. I've danced it in Stuttgart already, but yeah, it's one of my favorite roles. And especially the second act solo is just my favorite solo ever. <laughs> and I really like the roller coaster of emotions that Lenski has throughout the ballet. You know that I need you.